Hii kazi ya mushroom mimi naipenda. Kama mama ninanisaidia. I really like to grow mushrooms. As a mother, it has helped me to meet my daily needs. I am also able to pay my children's school fees. I urge other mothers who wish to venture into farming to try mushroom farming and they will like it. Mushrooms are edible fungi that have been consumed by generations of people. There are different types of mushrooms, one of which is the oyster mushroom. In their natural habitat, oyster mushrooms feed on straw and wood. But instead of collecting them from the wild, you can easily grow them at home. Oyster mushrooms mature within 30 days. They are rich in proteins, vitamins, fiber and minerals and enrich people's diets when meat sources are limited. Mushrooms fetch a good price. Young and old, men and women can grow mushrooms as it requires little land, little effort and little money. I decided to construct this type of a house because it is cheap. I have only used banana leaves and grass. It is cheap yet helpful to women like me as I am able to meet my daily needs. In this video, we will learn how to prepare the substrate how to plant mushroom seed, and how to grow mushrooms under clean conditions. Mushrooms need fibrous plant material to grow on. This is called substrate. You can cut up dried maize cups, cereal stalks, bean waste, coconut waste, palm fibers, even water hyacinth and dried banana leaves. Preparing the substrate is crucial to ensure that only oyster mushrooms will grow on the substrate and not any molds or jams. Spread out the substrate on a plastic sheet. By adding water to the substrate, the mushrooms will be able to extract nutrients more easily. Experienced mushroom growers may add a handful of cereal bran or molasses to the water. This contains proteins and sugars that will make the mushrooms grow faster. But be warned, molds and jams will also grow more easily on the substrates when you enrich it. Mix one cup of lime in a bucket of water and stir. Sprinkle the solution over the substrate and mix it well. The lime makes the substrate more porous and reduces its acidity, making the mushrooms grow better. Growers use a simple trick to know whether the substrate is wet enough. Squeeze a handful of the substrate in your hand. If you get a few drops out of it, it is wet enough. As the substrate may still contain germs that will affect the growth of your mushroom, you need to sterilize the substrate. Pack the substrate in plastic bags of any color and size as long as they do not have holes. Press the material into the bag so as not to have spaces. Seal the bags with rubber bands to prevent loss or absorption of moisture during steaming. Place a metal drum on the fire stove and insert a wooden shelf in the drum. This will protect the plastic bag from getting into direct contact with boiling water which would spoil them. Pour in 20 liters of water into the drum and light the fire. Place the sealed bags on the wooden shelf in the drum. Close the drum with a lid or plastic sheet and steam the substrate for at least two hours to kill all germs. After steaming, Remove the bags and allow them to cool down in a clean environment. 
To avoid contamination, also make sure that all mushroom workers have clean hands and clothing. Do not use any chemicals, pesticides or even soaps as mushrooms will absorb this quickly. Mushrooms require proper hygienic practices. Do not go into the mushroom house at any time because soaps affect their growth. I set aside a specific day for activities in the mushroom house. That day, I take a bath without soap and do not use any perfumed lotion or oil. After removing the rubber bands, you can start putting the mushroom seed into the substrate. Mushroom seed or spawn looks like pure white cotton wool. It is stored in clear glass bottles. If you grow mushrooms for the first time, you can buy mushroom seed from a university or research institution or get it from a farmer who is already growing mushrooms. Put a tablespoon of mushroom seed on top of the substrate in each of the bags. Mushroom seeds need air, so close the bag with a plastic ring to leave a small opening. Plug some cotton sprayed with methylated spirit into this opening to avoid contamination. Bring the bags into a dark and cool room. Lay the bags on their sides on shelves one on top of the other. Place the openings of the bags towards the corridor so you can easily check the mushroom growth. Leave the bags undisturbed for three to four weeks for the mushroom seed to spread within each bag. This is called colonization. On the fourth week, check the bags to see if the substrate is fully covered by the white mass of the seed. Open the bags when at least three quarters of the bag is white. Remove the plastic ring and cotton wool to allow fresh air to enter and encourage mushrooms to grow. Mushrooms grow best in temperatures below 25 degrees centigrade. Mist at least three times per day using a hand spray to reduce temperature and increase humidity. One week after opening the bags, mushrooms begin to grow. You can see a small bunch of tiny structures that look like white nails with cups. They grow to maturity in only four days after which you can start harvesting. Harvest the whole mushrooms and don't leave bits on the substrate or floor since they can cause disease and attract flies and rats. To control flies, cover all openings of the mushroom house with fine nets. Use traps to catch rats and spread ash around the mushroom house to keep out slugs and snails. So, what should we do with the substrate after the mushroom harvest? Let's hear from Nicholas Mutindu, a mushroom grower from Western Kenya, how mushroom cultivation also benefits his crops. When you grow mushroom, you do not get any losses because after harvesting, you remove the substrate and make it into compost, which we apply to our crops in the farm. Now, let us repeat the key steps in oyster mushroom cultivation. Collect fibrous plant material and chop it up as substrate. Mix the substrate with water and lime. 
Press the substrate into plastic bags and steam them for at least two hours to kill all germs. As germs and moles can grow easily, you must follow good hygiene practices when growing mushrooms at all times. Clean hands, clean clothes, clean working space. Add mushroom seed to the substrate. Leave the bags undisturbed in a dark, cool room for three to four weeks to allow the mushroom seed to spread through the substrate. When at least three quarters of the bag is white, open the bags and regularly mist them. You can start harvesting your first mushrooms about 10 days later. Growing mushrooms is easy and can earn you good money.